Hello Virgo, thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be doing a reading for 2020 and what you can expect um, during the year. What what themes and focus points we're going to be um, seeing for Virgo for 2020. Let's see, so in the pre-shuffle it was alluding to some sort of um, it was alluding to your perspective on things, and I was feeling, um, I was feeling more so, not so much just on one topic or subject, but more so on your perception of like maybe your life, um, how life works in general, your perception on the world. Um, I'm feeling like, like the cards were alluding to maybe something that you um, think think you see all sides to and you you can't maybe you can't see how it could be different or um, how something could change but I'm feeling like the universe is going to be showing you um, that there's more to something um, or that just like a lesson in the fact that we're always things are always changing and expanding and there's always more to learn about something there's always more to learn about a topic and that's just what I was feeling um, from the pre-shuffle but we'll see what comes out and yeah okay so let's see please show me uh, what the focus points are going to be for Virgo for um, 2020 what are the, going to be the most um, important themes and focus points for 2020 for Virgo Gaia the earth the earth mother nature okay so we have the frequency of Gaia reminds us that we are infinitely connected to one another just as we are to our great mother and to the universe that birthed us all yeah like I'm feeling again like a like a like a larger perspective on something like a like your view on something is expanding um, and 28 breaks down to a number 10 which alludes to cycles ending um, and changes coming about so for 2020 there's obviously going to be um, some changes, some some things that come to you've come to the end of it, and that doesn't mean um, that it's the end. It's just that it's going to be the beginning of a new cycle. So, you know, maybe that has something to do with um, like your perspective and you know seeing um, more about something and seeing that there's more to something and that there's still more to learn about something or. Um, yeah, like it could be about like a person, it could be about, um, again, just life in general, especially with this card. Um, it's definitely alluding to that, how how we're all connected, how things are all together, how things work. Um, and maybe there will be some moments in 2020 where you, you realize why something happened a certain way. I know I said this in a few other readings, um, but this energy is definitely coming up where you see the reason for why things happened, like this happened so that this could happen, um, etc. Um, and I feel like, what was I just about to say? I can't remember. Maybe that's for a reason. <laughs> oh, yeah, so in the pre-shuffle, um, it was alluding to um, something coming together, something working together. So again, talking about where maybe you thought something couldn't work together, but it really can work together. Um, energy like that. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can get some more info. Alright, please show me uh, more about what Virgo is going to be focused on or what are the themes that are going to be coming up for Virgo. Please show me more. Something about a mountain too um, in the pre-shuffle. I know I keep talking about the pre-shuffle, but something about a mountain. Maybe it something feels like mountainous to you. Like it feels like something that's difficult, um, but it's like a upward process. You're always get you're getting closer to the top with every step that you take, as long as you're going up. So it's, as long as you're going in a high vibrational direction, you're always going to be going towards that ultimate goal at the top. So that's what I take from the mountain stuff. I'm sorry about my dogs if you can hear them. So we have solitude here. So what this solitude card is making me feel like, it's like, this is like you're working on your personal growth, on your on how you feel emotionally, personally, how your mental health. You know, you're working on um, 
yourself personally. You're not worrying so much about helping others. You're realizing that you need to help yourself first. And if you aren't realizing that, you're going to be realizing that. Um, that's what I'm feeling strongly from the card. Um, and also, it could be about like maybe you're maybe you're going into hermit mode. Maybe it's like you are um, holding back a little bit from being around so many people because you're doing a lot of inner work. Um, yeah, which there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. All right, please show me more about the focus for Virgo during 2020. Please show me more. Again, with the solitude card, I'm feeling like putting yourself first. Uh, trickery. Okay, so um, the trickery card, it, it does allude to there being some trickery. If the trickery has already happened, um, it could be alluding to a resolution to a trickery, but we'll, we'll get more details on the trickery with the tarot decks here. Um, yeah, so some sort of trickery that has happened that's going to be resolved or is going to happen um, and go going to need to be resolved. Yeah, like in this in the photo, I don't know if you can see very well. In the photo, there's like a little like noose hanging off the table, and that in this deck, the noose alludes to um, like anxiety, like feeling anxiety. So this this trickery could make you feel anxious. Please show me more about the focus for Virgo in 2020. Please show me more about the focus for Virgo in 2020. And healing, yeah, for sure. Healing um, past things, um, healing, you know, perspective, perspectives, healing your, healing your um, belief system is what I'm feeling. Your belief system is maybe becoming a little bit more um, healthy, a little bit more positive. Um, I randomly want to say a little bit more inclusive. I don't know what that alludes to, but like inclusive of maybe certain people or yeah, like some, like, yeah, especially with the integration cards that were coming out, um, something's coming together. Something's being included that maybe you weren't including in the past, but you're including it now. Um, yeah, we'll see what else comes out. And please show me the higher goal, um, the ultimate goal that Virgo's inner being is trying to push Virgo to, um, or trying to lead, walk with Virgo to. Please show me the higher goal or purpose for 2020 um, for, for Virgo's inner being higher self, whichever term you prefer. What is this? Identity, okay, yeah. For you to be, um, to know where your purpose is, like where you come into play in a situation in the world, um, your identity, what you identify with, who you identify with. Um, Again, the belief system that you identify with. I'm feeling that as well. Anything more for the goal of Virgo's inner being, higher self? 2020. The body. Okay, so the senses. So um, the goal is to um, increase your abilities. Um, especially, I'm hearing very strongly, um, your intuition. <laughs> like you're increasing your ability um, for discernment as well but intuition very strongly, um, and following your intuition. To, um, to make your intuition stronger, to um, get more intuitive hits more often, um, I would suggest following the, any intuition that you get and seeing what happens, you know, as long as, you know, it's not like a bad thing. But follow your intuition as much as possible. You know, use your feelings as a way to tell you whether or not um, something is good. And typically your intuition isn't necessarily going to be like a like a warning type thing. Like, typically that's the ego. If something's being, like, warning you to be scared, um, your intuition is just going to guide you in the right direction. They're not, your intuition isn't going to really talk that much about, um, what's not good for you. Your, your discernment will give you that intuitive hit that feels negative, like if it's negative, you know what I mean? But your intuition typically is guiding you um, in the right way rather than warning you, don't do this, don't do this, because that's, that's typically your ego. Okay. Please show me 
more about the solitude for Virgo. Please show me more about the solitude for Virgo. Okay. Oh, all right. So we have the seven of cups and we have the nine of swords. So we have a lot of thinking about options. A lot of thinking about options. Someone's overthinking about options. Directions to take. Please show me more about the overthinking. Okay, so it's keeping someone um, stagnant somewhere. It's keeping someone put somewhere. Um, this could be egoic thoughts. This could be the ego um, getting at you. But especially with it coming after the solitude card, like someone, someone's definitely spending a lot of time alone or is going to be spending a lot of time alone and thinking, thinking. Please show me more about these options. What are these options about? Ooh, okay. All right, so we have the Ace of Wands and Temperance. Okay, yeah, so someone wants to make like a good decision. Someone's overthinking because they want to make a good decision. Um, this could be in regards to career or um, relationships, whether that's, you know, romantic relationships or family relationships. There's like options... Um, and you're trying, someone's trying to, uh, may I, hey, maybe that's why I was talking about intuition. Someone is trying to use their intuition um, to follow the right thing. And that might be why someone is overthinking so much. What I'm feeling about the overthinking is that it's not, it's not really necessary. And that might be where I'm feeling this anxiety from this um, card too. Um, but the Ace of Wands talks about a new passionate beginning. So this could be passion in a couple ways. You know, I've already said it, but relationships or um, career but you're overthinking it you're overthinking which path to take um, which side of the mountain to climb up is what I heard but they all lead to the same place so okay so someone's overthinking about how do I get there how do I get there how do I get to this point how do I get to this this um, emotion like how do I get to this lifestyle how do I get to this like it's like you're wondering should I take this route should I take this route should I just take this route I say like you know meditate and just like follow your heart like what is your heart and actual true passion telling you to do um because no matter what side of the mountain you climb up you're getting you're going to get to the top you're going to get to that point at the top so it doesn't matter which way which one you choose you just choose the one that you you naturally want to go to um but you're definitely either asking for guidance or going to be asking for guidance in this or you're going to be um meditating on guidance for this that's what I'm feeling with the temperance card because you want to make a good decision you don't want to make the wrong decision that's what I'm feeling please show me more about this trickery before I start talking over and over again please show me more about this trickery wow the tower wow is there a card under it no the tower okay so the tower um is obvious so there's a tower please show me more I was going to say that it could be Scorpio. Okay, so there's conflict. This is the Five of Wands. Um, people are getting kind of petty with the Five of Wands energy. Um, people are just like kind of... People might be arguing a lot. You might be arguing with someone a lot. Uh, the Father of Cups just wanted to come out. Um, it could be with a water sign. Um, but it's, it, hey, it could be a Scorpio. Yeah, it could be a Scorpio. Strongly could be a Scorpio. Um... But, yeah, this, like, pettiness. Please show me more about the trickery. Wow. Wow. Okay. So that's, like, obvious. Um, third party situation here. Um, the three of cups and the two of cups. Third party situation. Okay. So third party situation going down to um, a two party situation. So someone is dropped um, in a third party situation. Please show me more. And this is a tower for someone. So you could be committing the trickery. You could be feeling tricked. Um, okay, this is a lot. I'll look at them really quick, but I'm not going to keep them. We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Three of Wands. And we have the Father of Swords. Okay, so there's a masculine energy that is... Um, 
is cutting um, someone off. There's a masculine energy that's cutting someone off. Could be air, air sign. Um, yeah, so this is someone that could be married, could be mar you could be married to. Someone's working um, towards um, walking away in some fashion with the three of wands here. Um, and it's father of swords or a masculine energy. And it I, hey, it doesn't, I don't know why I'm shuffling, but I feel like I need to shuffle. Um, it doesn't have to be um, male. It doesn't have to be someone who's male. It's just masculine energy. So it's someone who could just be being very assertive um, and cutting something off. And there's pettiness and there's a tower involved with this. And I'm going to look into it more with that. Um, but yeah, please show me more about this healing. Okay, High Priestess. So you're healing your abilities. I'm really feeling. Um, you're kind of healing and it's creating... Um, your healing is creating, um, like, your in your intuition is getting stronger with this healing. Um, because, you know, anything that was getting in the way of it um, is being healed and released. So, you could also be seeking tarot readers that are helping you do this. Um, or insight that's helping you do this. But I'm feeling strongly that you're activating your own abilities um, or strengthening them. Okay, please show me more about this identity. Okay, Mother of Wands, yeah, so I'm feeling like you're, 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 I don't want to say like correcting, but this healing is like kind of adjusting, again, your belief system, and this is, you know, making you see yourself in a whole new light, seeing yourself a lot more positively, um, just healing that wicked, uh, divine feminine, yeah, the Ace of Pentacles just came out, um, healing that, that divine feminine side, being positive, being creative, being passionate, um, you know, you could be um, a business person. You could be going into business. You could be going into, like, selling things um, or just, like, leading a company of some sort or you own your own business or something. Like, you're, you're strong um, in the work sense is definitely what I'm feeling. But either way, you're, like, you're, you go for your desires. Like, that's the identity you're subscribing to. Um, you go for the things that you want. Please show me more about this, um, the body. Please show me more about the body. I don't know what that was. I think that was a judgment card. Okay, so we have the five of cups. So you may feel like, why don't I, like, why isn't, I don't know why I'm feeling this, but it's like, why isn't my intuition stronger? Or maybe the situation, like if this, if this situation is something that, um, like that goes kind of wrong for you in a way no matter where you are in it it's like if it goes kind of wrong for you you're wondering like why didn't I have better discernment why didn't I have um, better intuition or this is what you thought in the past like when things have gone on this is what you thought in the past you felt um, kind of negatively towards your abilities or see the five of cups in this it's like you're you you don't realize that they're there it's like you're looking at the things that went wrong rather than looking at um, the ability the the times where your abilities have done you right you know what I mean it's like you're kind of looking at the um, more negative aspect but it's like you're wanting to subscribe to a more positive um, mindset please show me more about the body I don't know what that was. okay the three of wands yeah so um, you're trying to maybe you're you're like um, it's like you have start not you didn't start from from you know number one you didn't start back to the one you um, went back down to the three where you're looking forward um, to the future and expanding these abilities expanding um, this awareness expanding um, your identity like you're making more positive moves for yourself and you may have gone back a little bit is what I'm feeling with this card like like you like say say pretend this is pretend this is once you're going from like the five to the three and it's not a bad thing it's a good thing it's for necessary it's the necessary healing is taking you to the place right where you need to be to move forward um and maybe i'm feeling like correct your path in a way that's what i heard so all right See if we can just get some more details here with this deck. Oop. Okay, I 
actually want to ask for um, advice with this Ace of Wands and like the, the opportunity that you're overthinking or the path that you're overthinking. Please give me advice on this. Ten of Wands. So again, alluding to the Ten, it's like you're going to drop the burdens that are holding you back, um, that are making you overthink, especially because this is the Nine of Swords. Um, it's like you're almost there at the Ten where you're just like, I'm done overthinking about this. I need to make a move. I need to do something about it. And, you know, this could be something that's um, in regards to you as well. This could be someone else. Um, just however it fits for you, like however it's resonating for you is however it's resonating. But it's like someone is, is done holding these burdens that aren't, aren't necessary for them to be holding. Um, and it's only holding them back. It's only keeping them um, in this waiting period. Um, please show me more. Wow. So then we have the page of wands. Okay. So, okay. So, you know, that is, that is the one that is, you know, you, you are going to feel kind of new in a thing, in a subject, in a, in a topic. And, you know, maybe this is showing like a natural progression. It's like you, you've dropped these things, right? And you're picking up the page of wands, you're picking up the ace of wands and going off on an opportunity as somewhere where maybe you're a little new. And maybe along the line, um, some things happen where maybe you start to doubt things. Um, and this healing and this whole experience is going to show you, um, like it's going to teach you how to trust yourself a little bit more um, and how to um, adjust your, I'm feeling, adjust your path when you need to. I don't know what that is um, about, but maybe you felt like the paths you take are indefinite and there's no way to move around on them. So I, whatever path I take, I have to take that path and there's no moving around. That's what I'm kind of feeling. So maybe this is just kind of showing you how to adjust your path and that you don't necessarily have to, you don't have to go from the 10, um, well, there, it is a step, but like next time, it doesn't have to be that you go back to the one. It's like you're starting at the three, you know, where you're you're ready to go off on a new adventure with, with all this stuff that you still have. You know what I mean? It doesn't mean it doesn't mean that every tower moment has to, you have to lose everything. It doesn't mean that every ten, every cycle that ends, you have to lose everything. And I was again feeling that in the beginning. Just because a cycle ends doesn't mean you lose everything and it's done. It's like it, you're it's just picking up a new cycle. So that's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm feeling. And if you are um, like attached to a cycle um, right now or in, in a cycle um, that you're feeling like you can't get out of, that's what this whole year is about. It's lessons in helping you um, follow your own intuition and, and follow what feels good and, and to not follow what doesn't feel good, no matter what, even no matter what they promise you. You know what I mean? Um, okay. It just fell out. The magician just fell out. Okay. Please show me um, more about this tower. Please show me more about this tower. Okay, the Eight of Swords. Yeah, so it's something that's um, made someone feel really stuck and like they can't they can't see or feel the way out. They don't know how to get out. They can't see. They can't move. That's what they... That's their perception, but nothing's actually in front of them or blocking them. They just can't see. You know what I mean? Like, they're even, like, about to take a step, but they're, like, hesitant to take the step. That's what I'm noticing. Please show me more about this tower and this three of cups, two of cups situation. And the nine of swords just wanted to come out again. This is something that someone is overthinking. Yeah, the hermit. Um, yeah, so there's some, like, someone is, like, is someone, okay. So someone is going from the eight of swords to the hermit, like, where they're they're understanding that it's not about you know staying in one place and staying stuck and figuring it out from there it's about um being the hermit and not being afraid to take an adventure by yourself <laughs> that's just what i want to say um don't go you know on a mountain by yourself i don't suggest that but <laughs> like and like spiritually by yourself um hermiting yourself a little bit to um do the healing do the reflection work you're 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 taking your solitude as less of the Eight of Swords and more of the Hermit. Following the light rather than keeping yourself stuck, you know what I mean? And, you know, the Hermit, you know, I feel like it's implied that, you know, slow steps are being taken, you know what I mean? It's like slow movement, but being guided by the light, guided by your intuition, guided by things that are going to be moving you in the positive direction rather than guiding yourself with um, ego, 
letting the ego control what you do and the decisions you make in your life because the ego is not taking you to progress. Well, the ego does help us progress, but the ego's opinions and um, guidance is not um, guidance that's going to get you anywhere that's positive. Um, the positive guidance is from your inner being, you know, your your angels, ancestors, whatever you believe in, really. Um, your intuition. Your intuition and good discernment. Please show me um, more about this third party situation going to the two. Is there anything else you'd like to say to Virgo about this three going to the two? And, you know, whatever that means for you, you know, you know where you are and what situation you're in. So we have the Wheel of Fortune. So this is, you know, karma you know this is this is again a 10 this is something coming to an end and a cycle ending of some sort um karma is coming through in some way and things are being adjusted with the wheel of fortune this has been the situation has been a journey so this isn't i mean this could it will be a journey if it hasn't come up yet but if it has already come up it's been a journey it's been a journey okay please show me um Please show me more about the Five of Cups and the Three of Wands here. Please show me more about the Five of Cups, Three of Wands. We have the Six of Cups. Okay, so from the Five to the Six. Please show me more. And we have the Nine of Wands. So, yeah, so I'm feeling like this is um, a past. So the Six of Cups alludes to someone from your past. Um, something that has emotion involved within it. Um... This is something that's being reflected on. This um, intuition, you're using this intuition in regards to this situation. Please show me more. You're looking at it. You might be looking at it in a different way than you have in the past. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. And we have the Seven. Okay. We have the Seven of Cups again. And the Eight of Wands. So what this shows me is that... Um, that there's some sort of communication um, that's going to be, it's, someone's going to be confused, someone's going to be like not sure which path to take. <laughs> coming back to this, so this some, this could be a situation that's coming for full circle in some way. There's something, um, there's these two situations are different, but there's something like weirdly similar about them. Um, what I'm, even this is the goal side of 2024, your inner being, higher self. So. Like, I'm feeling like something comes back around and it's like, it comes full circle. Again, yeah, with all the tens and the ends of cycles. And it's like, you're back at this point, like, with the seven of cups, like, just having to decide, trying to take a path. But, like, you're the queen of pentacles here now. You're, you're stable, you're abundant, you know, everything flourishes around you, you're comfortable with where you're at. Um, and um, the way she's looking at the pentacle, I feel like she's contemplating this pentacle, this offer that comes in that is communicated, and it's gonna, you're going to have to make a decision on that. Th this is about someone from your past that you're going to have to make a decision on. Um, yeah. It's, gonna, it's like similar to this situation, but you feel like you have a better um, starting point this time around. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Let me see if I can get an advice card before I run out of time. Please show me, um, let me just shuffle this once. Please show me what Virgo should keep in mind during the entirety of 2020. What would you like Virgo to keep in mind for 2020? Please show me what you'd like Virgo to keep in mind. I feel like I wanna get another, okay, one flipped over. Okay, play, have fun, celebrate, don't be so serious, and Mintakin, longing for home, belonging, the original light workers. Yeah, I, I, with the pre-shuffle, I was feeling um, a calling, and it's funny because the belonging card kept showing up um, as I was shuffling before your reading. Um, it's like you are being called somewhere, called back to your higher self, called back to your true self and your true opinion of life is what I'm feeling but play have fun celebrate don't be so serious you know allow allow yourself to enjoy life and take a break once in a while because it's necessary to raise your vibration okay so this has been really long um but that's okay <laughs> that's okay the 2020s I wanted to keep short but that's okay I hope that you enjoyed I hope you resonated I hope I helped in some form or fashion and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day bye